Everyone has been talking about the upcoming elections in 2019. And why not? This will be the 17th Lok Sabha elections. But what's really special is the large number of first-time voters expected during the turnout this year. 1.5 crores to be precise. This is great news for the country. This is historic. The Election Commission of India has released a statement saying that almost 90 crore people in this country are eligible for voting. And this is huge. But who will you vote for? We all know about the quality of candidates being fielded everywhere. There are issues with their competency or worse, they are either corrupt or have criminal backgrounds with a few cases pending against them. The Election Commission of India has issued a directive in 2018. Parties and their candidates must publicize their criminal background. This is going to be true for Lok Sabha elections in 2019 as well. The candidates with criminal antecedents will have to publish the criminal records in newspapers and television channels at least three times during the election campaign. But it does not ban these candidates. Just look at the state of Jharkhand for example. During 2014 Lok Sabha elections, of the total 236 candidates in Jharkhand, 62 had declared their criminal records. Of these 62 candidates, 40 had declared being named in serious cases, including murder, assault and kidnap. What's the point of being aware of this information when you can do nothing about it? What happens when there is little choice in a smaller constituency or a state? These kind of candidates are still allowed to stand for elections and voters will cast their votes for them, nothing changes. Not voting for them at all is a logical way to go. But what happens when there is no option to choose between a murderer and a kidnapper? That's where NOTA comes in. NOTA, or none of the above, was an important step in the maturing of Indian democracy. The Supreme Court made it mandatory after it deemed the 49O provision unconstitutional. Before the NOTA, provision 49O helped account for negative voting, but it did not hide the dissenting voters' identity. Now, the right to secrecy is an important aspect of free and fair elections. The NOTA option on EVMs takes care of that. Now, the purpose behind the introduction of NOTA was to ensure that the political parties feel good quality candidates. Many candidates are still corrupt, many candidates are criminals, or waiting to be proved so in court. Many candidates are just puppets who do not want much during their term. The system is not good enough. Does the NOTA really help avoid the problem of bad political candidates standing for elections? Well, NOTA helps avoid false voting. After lots of effort, the Election Commission of India has been able to address the false voting or fake voting with NOTA. NOTA also increases participation. The voting net in the country increases with people being given the right to vote their disapproval at least. But what else does it offer to those among us who are tired of the current system and want things to change completely? The NOTA helps voters raise their voice against current candidates. It sends a message to our political representatives in our constituencies that we are not happy with them. But this is not enough. Why? Because NOTA has no electoral value, it has no constitutional weight. Imagine a scenario in a constituency where 1000 votes are cast. Out of these 9999 votes were NOTA votes. What happens then? It's obvious. The results should be taken into account and a new round of elections should be initiated with new sets of candidates, right? But that's not how things work. The candidate with that one single vote will be deemed the winner. That one vote will count as the majority vote. How is this even democratic? So, you see, in the current avatar, the nota is a lame duck. It's only symbolic. The nota does not even give the voters the right to reject. Now, this is just an extension of our fundamental right for freedom and expression. Why else do we vote? We vote to see change. It's not hero worship we are after. We want professional electorate. By giving NOTA constitutional weight in the electoral scheme of things, parties will be forced to field better candidates naturally. And if they fail, it opens the doors to common men to step up. How can the NOTA provisions improve in this regard? Glad you asked. 
There are a few steps that can be taken according to the recommendation of organizations like Association for Democratic Reforms (ADR) and National Election Watch (NEW). Number one, nota votes must count. Voters should have the right to reject. This will ensure. that those who aren't happy with the party candidates fielded in their constituency will turn up to vote number 2 in case the nota option gets more votes than any of the candidates then the candidates should be disqualified a fresh election should be held with fresh candidates number 3 in the following elections with fresh candidates and the nota option only the candidate should be declared elected who gets at least more than 50% of the votes cast number 4 Even if this round fails then the process should be repeated. But what about the additional expenditure? Where would you prefer your honest tax money go to? Into a corrupt government officials pockets or in the free and fair elections? Or how about political parties that lose to nota bear the cost of re-election? Number 5 Well, the last suggestion is a radical one. Along with the above provisions, there should be a right to recall. As per this right Voters can recall candidates they have elected. This will instill fear in the candidates to do well in office and also lead to giving nota importance because it acts as a precursor to public displeasure. Currently, right to recall does not exist in the electoral process in the country, which only weakens nota. Now, this may appear to be a difficult process, but it will nudge the entire system in the direction. This will help ensuring better candidates with better representation for us voters. Lesser influence of sectarian votes. This will end vote bank politics. Still not convinced? There are some facts. In the 2017 Gujarat Assembly elections, the total vote share of Nota was lesser than only BJP, Congress, and independent candidates. In 118 constituencies, Nota polled the third largest vote share after BJP and Congress. In the 2018 Karnataka Assembly elections. Nota polled more votes than some parties with nationwide presence such as CPIM and BSP. In the Madhya Pradesh Assembly elections of 2018, 12 of the 22 constituencies saw Nota win more votes than the victory margin. In these constituencies, the BJP candidates lost. This indicated a clear dissatisfaction of the MP electorate with BJP. There are many more such facts. Now imagine a scenario where Nota gains constitutional weight. system will set itself right the mandate will drive itself this is a call for quiet revolution this is india thanks for watching